All right, what's going on guys? Goonzik here. Welcome back to episode two of our compound series. This time we're going to be checking out the intermediate supercross layout and I have actually unlocked all of the layouts. So all of the videos are coming out shortly, guys. Don't you worry. We're going to be showcasing all four of the tracks. We already did the first one. This is episode two and there are going to be two more episodes. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. Other than that, throw any comments down below. Go check out the real life channel guys we post like real life riding vlogs gopros all that sort of thing on that channel goonzig productions it's linked in the description other than that guys become a member of the goon squad click the subscribe button for more supercross the game gameplay and let's get in to the compound So the compound, this layout is the intermediate layout and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, all of the layouts are pretty easy. None of them are really like crazy cool tracks or anything and this one is just like, I don't even know, I don't even know. This one's not very fun in my opinion. So we're here, we're gonna do some time attack laps on it. I'm gonna show you guys some fast lines and everything and I mean there's pretty much only one line around the whole track. So. Uh, yeah, that is that is that but that is the finish line there You can then come through here and hit this like all oh, wow. We're gonna get reset Okay, just as I'm talking about how easy the tracks are we get reset right off the bat I will take it but uh, pretty much one line man We got a double here you come down through here You got a super cross triple then you come down through this little bit of a straightaway and then another super cross triple Nothing too crazy 180 corner here at the end and we got this on off brrr, up through here three on offs into this corner and then we 90 degree to these whoops which are actually pretty big whoops but i mean pretty easy to hit and then you're gonna triple into this corner don't case like me jump to here tire tap up to here and then you can just kind of like double into the corner and then some more whoops to the finish line so track time or the track length is about 51 seconds or so but there are some interesting lines you can hit. Like right there, that's the line you want to hit through that section. Rail this corner, double. It doesn't even matter if you over jump these, to be honest. Like you can just send it through this section because you don't really need a rhythm. You don't really need to be smooth. You can come out really wide, kind of square up this corner. And I mean, you don't even really need a big drive to make it through this section. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I just feel like they could have done so much more with these compound tracks, to be honest and they just like didn't i don't know why um like if i was making a compound for my game i would want the tracks on that compound to be some of the coolest tracks in the game if that makes sense but milestone just seems to have like the opposite mindset they don't really care about the compound i don't know man i don't know i just feel like even seeing the supercross tracks that they make like the replicas they clearly can make some decent tracks if that makes sense like they can make some all right tracks they just choose to like slack on the compound. Like, I don't know if they didn't have a compound team from the start. Maybe the compound was rushed during development or something. And like, maybe it was thought of later on in development. So they're like, oh, we just got to get this done. I don't know. I just feel like the compound tracks are like flat, boring tracks. If I was making a compound supercross track, I would want it to be one of the weirdest, coolest tracks in the game like they could have added elevation to this track they could have added hills and all that it could have done like triples up a hill you know triples up a hill step on step offs down a hill they could have done so much but they just give us like a flat track with a couple triples a couple on offs you know some whoops and everything and then they call it a day so it'll be interesting to see how the motocross track is but I just feel like the Supercross tracks could be so much more. So I thought for the second half of the video, I would show you guys how the AIs actually perform on this track. So I'm going to give them like a little bit of a head start. And then we'll come in and kind of uh, just lurk, you know. We'll lurk back here. We'll see how they do. Uh, they all kind of push really wide around that first corner. Wow, they do. They go really wide around that first corner. But like I'm assuming they're all going to hit the rhythms. If they don't hit the rhythms, I will be sh like shook. So surprised. So... The only thing I could see is them like messing up these on offs somehow but like with them okay yep yeah, hit me to the ground but with them coming out this wide I don't see how like how some of them are casing these jumps what what are they doing 
What? No way. They're that bad. They are that bad. They're gooning it up. We'll see what happens. I think for the most part, the the compound tracks are fairly easy. Especially against the AIs for some reason. Like you don't really have to try very hard. They just goon it up. So they actually toss it over that jump, all the AIs. They really do. They're throwing mad whips. I love it. I love it when the AIs throw whips. When the AIs are showing some steez. Now, it seems like someone has checked out. Is that Tomac? I bet you it is Tomac, too. I bet you they have Tomac like a, a god on the... It's not, though. It isn't. Tomac's right here. Tomac's right here in front of us. So I'm not really sure who that was. You know what? I think it might have been Tomac, but he might have went down. I'm not really too sure. I'm actually not sure at all. Anderson's got a decent lead. Oh no. We're just like almost lapping people. Already? What the heck? How? There is no way. There is- Oh no. Yeah, what the heck? I thought that was Baggett. Baggett's right there. Anderson's in front of us. Anderson's about to lap someone. Already? Something funky happened with the AIs. That's all I gotta say. That is- That is interesting. You got Baggett getting sketched. I swear Baggett went off the track like three times in that section, but I'm not I'm not sure. Wow, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. So some of the AIs are goons and some of them are actually riding pretty good. Like some of them know what's up, man. Anderson's like some competition here, you know? We're we're struggling to get past him. I feel like once we get past him, we're not gonna have to worry. But like why are we already lapping people? I don't really understand that. The guys at the back of the pack just seem to be gooning it up. They are not having a good night at all. Like, one bit. So I wouldn't say that the compound track, like, isn't fun. I wouldn't say that this track isn't fun. It could just be a lot more creative on their end. Like, for a Supercross track, if this was in a stadium, and it kind of set the vibe a little a little different, you know what I mean? Like, oh, if you're in a stadium, you can't have elevation. Like, you're stuck with a flat track. But here, it, it being outside, like, it just doesn't really work for me. It doesn't really work having just, like, a flat track. I don't know. I just feel like they could have done so much more. The intermediate layout isn't the best. The advanced layout is pretty much the same. Like, it, it's nothing too crazy. And then we have the motocross track to check out as well so that's pretty much it for the compound i mean a fairly simple track the ais are somewhat competitive i wouldn't say they are gods we're here lapping marv i don't know how that's even possible something must have happened i wonder what happened Alright, so we're here and I want to see what happens to Marv, because clearly something happened for him to get lapped. Like, he's running up near the front right now. Does he just go backwards? Like, how does how does this happen? What happens to Marv? So he's like up front, he's battling, you know? Slowly looks like he's getting shuffled towards the back of the pack, but so far, like, nothing's enough for him to get lapped. It looks like he went down there in the whoops. He did, he went down in the whoops. So he's fallen to the back of the pack. Oh, then he gets reset going this way. Whoa, no way. No way, look at this. So this is a problem with this track, I guess. So when he crosses over here, he crosses over 
the finish line jump and goes down, okay? When he goes down... See, I don't even know what happens. It's like his AI was triggered to go that way. Did you guys see that? Like, if we back this up a little bit... Okay, right, right in here, okay? If we're going forwards, let's start going forwards. There we go. Right in here... Watch this. He all of a sudden just, bam, turns this way like he's supposed to be going that way. And then when he respawns, look what happens, okay? So he goes straight for a little bit. And then it resets him like he's off track and sends him this way. But he's not in the lead. He is like a lap down. Same with Stewart. It did the exact same thing. That is definitely a problem with the compound here, guys. So that's interesting. You learn something new every day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. I will catch you guys all in another one. Peace out.